going to talk a little bit more college hoops right now. And Dylan, we know entering the night tonight, after all the upsets we've seen, there's only one undefeated team left in college basketball. They reside out west. The Zach Bulldog taking on San Diego. Could they stay perfect? How about Nigel Williams Goss? Causes a turnover on defense that turns to offense the other way. I think he's their most complete player, Dave. He really can get <sighs> stops, can defend a couple different positions, good in transition, very athletic, and can finish at the rim. All right, speaking of, it's more of the same. How about the offensive glass attacking? Off the air ball. We're going to kick it around and knock down. Shows you some of the range there, too. Arnowski's great inside. I think he gives a real presence because of the size and girth of his body, but Williams Goss, I think, is the engine that makes them go, and you see it there with the stat line, 25-5-5. and five. Did a little bit of everything for the Zags. Tonight. 19 in the first half, easy blowout win. They've hit Blackjack 21-0 right now to start off the season. Um, I've said it before here. I really do believe it to be true that the committee could find themselves in a bit of a quandary here. They're going to move up to number one, barring an upset this weekend that we don't foresee for Gonzaga. If they're still undefeated, they're going to be number one uh, when the new polls come out next week. Let's just say hypothetically they run the table, which isn't that big of a hypothetical because what do you have to do? Beat St. Mary's again, yep. which you've already done, already you're done. and probably play them again in the WCC final. If you do that and you're the committee and you've already had them now for over a month at that juncture as the number one team, I think they have to be the number one overall seed in the country. Even though the resume is not yeah, they're Close not going to have the top 10 wins. They're not going to have Kentucky the RPI. They're right. not going to have the strength of schedule. Um, None of those But undefeated things. is undefeated, even if it's not in a Power 5 conference, even if it's not one of the would you have a, Would you have a problem with that? No. You just say, but they're going to get the number one overall seed, the easiest theoretical bracket to move to the Sweet 16. The wild thing for me is it's, no, I have no problem with that. The wild thing for me is that it, it's a real slippery slope. Because as much as I don't have a problem with them being undefeated and getting the number one overall seed, uh, albeit uh, barring their weak schedule because of their conference, eh, you know, it's no disrespect to the West Coast Conference. You just don't play no, it's, the same teams that you play in the Pac-12 or the, ACC, certainly in the ACC. No. Um, I have no problem with them being undefeated. But at the same point, it, it, it's a fine line because one loss, then they're way out of contention. It, it, if you're undefeated... That's the standard, and that's the only way. But if you're undefeated, yes, you get that number one overall seed. Um, hmm. The Arizona win helps tremendously. Huge. Especially with Arizona then going on the road and beating UCLA. That helps. Right? It, it, it makes the Arizona win, which was oh. already one of their best wins to go along with the St. Mary's win, um, you know, really stand above the rest of the meh, victories as far as I'm concerned for the Zags. For them, it's style points. It's winning games by a lot of points. Like and they did tonight. Teams out like they did here uh, against San Diego. And, and also, the other thing is, make sure you finish undefeated, and then you can have that spot. But even one loss, don't be surprised if you're a two seed. Or a three. Or a three seed. It's crazy. That, it, that's the, the margin uh, uh, that they have right now. It's that slim. But I have no problem if they can run the table undefeated, even with their, their weak conference schedule and everything, um, with them getting the number one overall.